Welcome. What I want to do is kind of show you two, uh, two division problems that uh, get a lot of attention for a lot of students not really understanding or also getting them confused, you know, which answer is which. So here I have 0 divided by 15 and 15 divided by 0. Now remember, division problems is the inverse operation of multiplication. So what we want to do when we're sometimes figuring out division is re try to see if we can rewrite it as a multiplication problem. So here's what I'm going to look at. Remember, multiplication, you know, if we're uh, multiplying 15 times 2, what that really means is 15 plus 15, right? I'm adding, you know, two sets of 15. Well, if I have 0 divided by 15, what's that saying is 15 times what is going to give me 0? Well, if I have 15 times 1 equals 15, then how many sets of 15 are going to make me 0? And the obvious answer is none. 15 times 0 is going to equal 0. There can be 0 sets of 15 will make a 0. So if I have no sets of 15, I automatically have 0. So therefore, this answer is always going to be 0. Anytime you take 0 and divide it by a number, you're always going to get 0. And the reason being is, if you just kind of work way through a table, it doesn't matter. 0 sets of anything will always produce you 0. Now let's look at it the other way. How here I have 0 goes into 15. So how many zeros go into 15? Well, again, if we go back from this property, if I say anything times 0 equals 0, well, 0 times 0, or 0 times anything, is never ever going to equal 15. Because 0 times any number is always going to equal 0, never 15. So therefore, that's why this answer is undefined. I'll explain everything one more time. 15, 0 divided by 15. That means how many times is 15 going to 0? Well, so 15 times what number equals 0? Well, 15 times 2 means 15 plus 15. 15 times 1 means 15. So 0 would mean 0 of those 15s, wherefore my answer would be 0. 3 times 0 would mean 0 3s to add, so I just have a 0. So therefore, any number times 0 always equals 0. So now I look at the next set, 15 divided by 0. How many times does 0 go into 15? Or 0 times what number equals 15? Well, we just explained that 0 times anything always equals 0. So there's no number you can multiply by 0 that's going to get 15. And therefore, that's why it's undefined. There you go.